Hey guys, welcome back to Baronsis Math Club. Today we'll be learning about rates and unit rates. So what exactly is a rate? Well, a rate is a ratio of two quantities which are measured in different units. So let's do an example of a rate. So one example of a rate could be, let's say that you can do 40 push-ups in five minutes. This is an example of a rate because we see that our quantities, we have to have two quantities, remember. So the quantities are basically numbers. So in this case, we have 40 and we have 5. So these are the quantities. And they have to be measured in different units. And in this case, our units are push-ups and minutes. So we see that this is a rate. So this is a ratio, right? So a different, there are three different ways of representing this rate because we know that a ratio can be represented in three different ways as well. So we can write this rate as 40 to 5 with a colon. We can write it as 40 and then use the word 2 and then 5. Or we can simply re represent this as a fraction. So 40 over 5. So we can uh, represent this rate or this ratio three different ways. Now that we know what a rate is, let's go ahead and do a unit rate. We know that unit means one. So in, to find a unit rate, what we're trying to find is how many can you do in one? So in this case, how many push-ups can you do in one minute? Now, in a unit rate, your denominator must always be equal to one. So in order to find the unit rate, so we know that if we can do 40 push-ups in five minutes, we have to find the unit rate, so it will be how many push-ups can you do in one minute? We're gonna keep our fraction 40 over five, and then we know that our denominator must be equal to one. Now there are two different methods we can apply here. The first one is we can simply divide the numerator and the denominator by the number five, because the denominator is five, so if we divide the denominator by itself, we know five divided by five, will give us a denominator of one, and therefore we will automatically have our unit rate. So remember, we have to do the same thing to the numerator, so divided by five, and 40 divided by five is eight. That means you can do eight push-ups per minute. And per just means one. So this is our unit rate, eight push-ups per minute. Now this was the first method. The next one is by using cross products. So keep your fraction, 40 over 5, and we know that our unit rate must have a denominator of 1. Now since we don't know the numerator, we can use a variable to represent it. So let's say that our variable is n. Now we have to do cross products. Cross products is basically we're multiplying it. So we're going to multiply 40 by 1 and we're going to multiply n by 5. We know that 40 times 1 is 40, and 5 times n is going to give us 5n. So if we write this, it has to be 5n is equal to 40. Now we want to find the value of n, so we're going to have to isolate the variable, and we can do that by getting rid of any other operation that is being hap that is, um being done to the n, right? So in this case, n is being multiplied by 5, so we're going to have to divide by 5, use inverse operations. So the 5 cancels it out, and then we are left with n is equal to 40 divided by 5, which is 8. So that means, once again, the answer is the same, 8 push-ups per minute. And if you uh, go back and put the, the um, value of n back into our cross products in our proportion, it will become 40 over 5 is equal to 8 over 1, and that is true, because when you do cross products, we will get, so if you write this over here, 40 over 5 is equal to 8 over 1. We know that 40 times 1 is 40, and 8 times 5 is 40, and therefore this is correct. So that means the unit rate is going to be 8 push-ups per minute. All right, so this is all I have for this video. I hope you guys learned how to find rates and unit rates. And stick around for further weekly videos, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.